I don't mean to be so bold, but you know sometimes when you get to sing the blues, it gets kind of good to you. You get so damn good to me till I have to preach it. Hey, BC. It's Chris, your blues guy. Welcome back to Blues Guy Vinyl. Cheers. Oh, good stuff. So how's it going, eh? What's happening, baby? Thank you uh, once again for joining me here today. Uh, as you can tell from the uh, title, this is my video entry into Steve Carlson's uh, drawing or contest, his, his thank you to the VC contest. It was a, roughly about a year ago that uh, there was a terrible flood up there in Michigan. Uh, Steve lives in Midland, Michigan. And um, yeah, if you've been under a rock for the last year and aren't aware, he had terrible flooding. His basement flooded. It was like four, four and a half, five feet of water from, from if I'm not mistaken, if memory serves. Anyways, he basically his entire music collection destroyed. Not just records, but CDs. Um, he had trading cards and baseball cards and stuff. And then you know, family keepsakes and heirlooms and mementos and photos. So pretty much it, like it hits you right here. Like all the all this personal stuff, right? All the stuff that he loves. Pretty much all wiped out. He managed to save a few things here and there, but uh, you know, pretty much for the most part, you know, uh, 50, 50 years worth of collecting in terms of music, pretty much gone in a, in a night or two, which was terrible. So a lot of us in the VC sort of rallied behind uh, Steve Carlson, and uh, I know uh, Steve over at Van Value Vinyl started a GoFundMe, which uh, pretty much everybody contributed something to that, I know I did as well. And then a bunch of other people sent him uh, records, and, uh, you know, uh, stereo equipment. So much VCLT went to Steve Carlson that he changed it to SCLT, Steve Carlson Love Trade, which is very appropriate. Um, and, and people just uh, did all kinds of stuff to support Steve in their own way. Hell, even I got involved and I had a, sort of a live auction, live stream here to support Steve. and. Uh, a bunch of people came on this, onto the, uh, join me on the stream or in the chat, bid on a bunch of items that I put up for my personal collection, a bunch of blues records and stuff, 45s and all that sort of thing. And we raised over, it was $465 US, I think, if I don't remember correctly, that uh, I sent to uh, Steve Carlson uh, via PayPal. So yeah, that was outstanding. So yeah, that, and. Steve was so overwhelmed by this that he decided now that it's been a roughly a year that uh, his way of thanking everybody is to host this drawing, this contest. And basically what he wants us to do is to show some items uh, that we either received as gifts or, or VCLT from uh, people in the vinyl community or friends or family, or show and talk about uh, some items that we purchased that were um, as a result of influences or recommendations from, from people in the VC. So, uh, yeah, I, I thought this was a great idea, and Steve, super generous, uh, not only uh, is, is the contest or the drawing uh, geared towards anybody who uploads a video, but you don't even have to upload a video, you can just submit uh, your entry via email, or, or answering questions in the comments, uh, all kinds of stuff. So, uh, of, as usual, link in the rectangular description box thing in the do under the video. Please swing by, check it all out. All the info's there. That it'll take you right to Steve Carlson's uh, homepage here on, on YouTube. And speaking of Steve Carlson, what's playing in the background? That's Steve Carlson's favorite Elmore James. His favorite bluesman, that is. Elmore James. And this is uh, Red Hot Blues by Elmore James. Right now we're listening to Look on Yonder's Wall, the second track. Of course, the opening track was Dust My Boo. This is on uh, Intermedia Quicksilver. Quicksilver Records distributed through Intermedia here in Canada. So yeah, this is uh, out of Los Angeles. Uh, Quicksilver's out of Los Angeles. So that's what's playing. No more James. So for my entry for this drawing, uh, I decided to 
uh, show some VCLT or some gifts that people were thoughtful enough and kind enough to send to me. And um, basically what I've done is I've pulled one because I've gotten some examples. Uh, somebody may have sent me a package that had three or four items in it. Or there's a couple of my friends here in the VC that have sent me two or three packages over the past few years. So what I decided to do is just pull one item from each of the packages that I've received, or from each person that I've received over the years. So, uh, without further ado, and without any more uh, going on like a, like a little old lady hopped up on cheap gin, but uh, cheers. Let's get into this thing here, shall we? Uh, first, I'm going to start off by showing this, I'm, and I'm all over the place. I've got uh, CDs, DVDs, uh, vinyl albums. All kinds of stuff. Books. Uh, good stuff. So, uh, first thing I'm going to show is a CD that I got from Richard Riley. I got this back um, last summer. This actually, this CD actually came with a blues calendar that he sent me as well. This has got a bunch of old pre-war stuff. It's got some B.B. King, Victoria Spivey, Bo Carter, Mississippi Sheiks, Blind Lemon, and, and Bessie Smith. So, yeah, great uh, CD with 16 tracks, and that's from uh, my friend Richard Riley, California. Uh, speaking for, of a friend, uh, my friend Rachel the Music Man has sent me a, a few packages over the years. One of them had a bunch of DVDs in it, and this was one of the DVDs, and this one, I'm surprised it even plays anymore. I've played it so much in the past few months since she sent it to me. Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble. Live from Austin, Texas. Man, oh man. High energy. Uh, absolutely outstanding performance, as always, from the late, great Stevie Ray Vaughan, Double Trouble. So thank you to Rachel. From right up here in Canada, eh? Speaking from uh, right up here in Canada, uh, my friend Joel at Planet 13. He sent me some VCLT last year that had all kinds of stuff. There was music, there was graphic novels, there was little collectibles, and this, um, there was a DVD as well, actually, but it was all kind of themed or centered around uh, Alice Cooper. This is very cool. I had never seen anything like this before. I had seen music-related comic books or, or graphic novels, but never anything from uh, Alice Cooper. This is The Last Temptation. A beautiful um, graphic novel, outstanding artwork. Just very simple, stripped down, black and white. They didn't get all crazy and fancy with all the colors and stuff. They left all the fanciness to, to the actual uh, art itself. Like the, the, the detail and the shading. Yeah, beautiful stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's on Dark Horse Comics. So, yeah, uh, Neil Gaiman, The Last Temptation, featuring Alice Cooper. So thank you, Joel, Planet 13. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, this one came from um, Elliot Cruz. He sent me a few records, but this was one of the ones that he sent me. Um, I did not have any Josh White albums. I only had various Josh White on comps. So he very generously sent this my way, Josh White. Uh, on um, it's on that uh, archive the folk music label, which is a very good label. It's it's like Marble Arch, uh, Pickwick, that kind of idea. So yeah, very good. Josh White, beautiful voice. Uh, sticking with the states, uh, my buddy Sherv sent me uh, Sherv at uh, Julius Jabbar is his channel name. This is uh, the Johnny Shines Band. Uh, Otis Spann, Big Walter, Shaky Horton, Lee Jackson, and Fred Bilo on drums. The greatest blues drummer who ever lived. So there, this is Masters of Modern Blues Volume 1, featuring Johnny Shines. Again, Johnny Shines was somebody that had very little up. I only had one album of Johnny Shines, and the rest, again, was just sporadic appearances on different comps or so on. So yeah, thank you, sure, Johnny Shines. Um, this I got from, 
James Griffiths about a year ago. In fact, it was last summer. I had sent him a few items, and he sent me this beautiful double album by Gary Moore in return, live from London. Man, oh man, what an outstanding album. I show this quite a bit because I play this quite a bit. It still uh, finds its way onto the little turntable at least once or twice a month here. So, yeah, Gary Moore, live from London. As I mentioned, two album set, beautiful. A very kind gift from James Griffiths. Ace melting guitar. Another outstanding guitar player. This one is um, a live album, Johnny Hooker Live at Soledad Prison. And this is uh, Tony Perla, a two from the trunk, sent me this just recently. Man, is this good. I have I have a few John Lee Hooker albums, but I didn't have any John Lee Hooker live except for John Lee Hooker and Can Heat live together. But nothing of just John Lee live, so this is great. Just an outstanding album. And in fact, the uh, first two tracks are John Lee Hooker Jr. singing, and I think playing guitar as well. No, just vocals. Vocals, John Lee Hooker Jr. on the first two tracks. But yeah, outstanding. Sounds great. It's on ABC uh, Records. So it's yeah, very, very good quality stuff. Beautiful record. Hey, upside down, dummy. There we go. So yeah, John Lee Hooker from Tony P. Tony Perla, two from the trunk. Uh, this came from uh, my buddy Randy. Um, Randy Weaver in uh, Tennessee, and he kind of caught wind that I didn't have a lot of Sleepy John Estes, and well, he just couldn't abide by that whatsoever. So he sent me a couple of records, and this is one of them. This is uh, Son Bonds with Sleepy John Estes and uh, Hammy Nixon. Hammy Nixon right there on, on harp, and there's Sleepy John there. Vocals and guitar. Incredible stuff. This has got uh, All Night Long, and She Walks Like a Woman, uh, Back and back Inside Blues. Um, you Shouldn't Do That. Like, lots of classics. Just, I love Sleepy John Estes. Great voice, cool guitar player. And when you throw Hammy Nixon in the mix, it just kicks it up a couple of notches for him. So, yeah, very, very good stuff. Uh, this is on... This is on... Oh yeah, it's on Wolf Records. I think this is an import, actually. And I think it's like a an Italian import, I want to say, maybe? Either way, sounds great. So, yeah. That's from Randy Weaver. Randall Weaver. So, thanks, Randy. Uh, back up coming back up north, eh, into Canada, my buddy Jamie Caudle, the box set king, he sent me this uh, just a couple of months ago, actually, uh, along with another record. This is Sonny Terry, Brownie McGee. Uh, this is uh, at Sugar Hill. And this was a total surprise. He didn't even give me a heads up that this was on its way. I just came home and then there it was. And this is outstanding. One of the dynamic duos, the uh, guitar slash harmonica playing duo. That um, that's just my favorite combination in the groups, where you have the vocalist and guitar player backed up by a, a vocalist and harp player. You know, like Buddy Guy, Judy Wells, uh, Sunny, Sunny and Brownie. Yeah, just great stuff. Sleepy John and Hammy. Jelly Jaw Short and Sun House, you know, those great combinations. Little Walter and uh, Muddy Waters. Uh, this just came in, I think, about a week ago, maybe just over a week ago. Uh, this is from, this is uh, a gift from Derwin Powell. And Derwin doesn't even have a channel. Well, I mean, not, he doesn't upload content. He's just a, um, he's a subscriber, and he's great at leaving comments, always leaves uh, tons of, of feedback, and he's just a really nice guy, knows his stuff. I had mentioned a while back I had shown John Mayall's Turning Point, and I had mentioned that everything was basically 100%, and it was pretty much in pristine condition, except for the fact that he didn't have the insert with it. 
And he was like, what? What? No insert. And he had an extra one. So he was like, man, I... You get, that just will not sit. That didn't sit well with Derwin Powell. So he sent me, uh, on his own dime, just uh, put it in a, an envelope with some stiffeners on either side of it, and threw it in the mail for me. John Mayo, the turning point, the original insert that goes with that album. And uh, just very thoughtful, very generous. Doesn't want anything in return. But you're going to get something in return anyway, Dylan, so don't, uh, don't you fret none. But yeah, it's just, just the little things like that, you know, that's just thoughtful and kind. And uh, that takes a, a VG Plus album and turns it into a near mint just by adding this. So thank you, Dylan. Very nice. It's thoughtful, you know, it's just thoughtful. And last but not least, this one I got from my uncle. That's right, my, my VC uncle, Uncle Steve, Steve Carlson, the, the man of the hour, the man of the, the month. Detroit Blues he sent me this, I think it's coming on two years ago now, but Essential Detroit Blues, he sent me this. It's a fantastic comp of Detroit area blues artists on 180 gram vinyl. So, of course, it has John Lee Hooker and uh, Playboy Fuller on here, but does some lesser known, uh, like uh, Calvin Fraser is on here. You don't see him that often. Baby Boy Warren as well, Elsie Green, Eddie Kirkland, and Dr. Ross. Dr. Ross is one of those one-man band type guys who plays a drum, like a kick drum with a guitar and a harmonica on a rack and then sings all, in, all at the same time. Man, I can barely blink and blow bubbles at the same time, so I don't know. But anyways, yeah, just a great album. So, uh, thank you. Thank you very much to uh, Uncle Steve, Steve Carlson, for this tremendous gift. So there you go. It's going to do it here today for your blues guy. So once again, thank you very much, Steve Carlson, for your generosity and kindness in hosting this drawing, this contest. Uh, good luck to all of you. Who have submitted your entries to this thing and um, you know uh, let's keep that uh, Steve Carlson love train rolling anyway shall we yes yes indeed so as per usual please do all the things sprinkle some magic on those buttons down there for for me if you don't mind and of course keep digging keep spinning take care of yourselves out there enjoy the beautiful weather and we'll see you again real soon all right cheers take care bye-bye